Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In today's episode, I am going to show you how you can use the custom certificate Moodle plugin to create dynamically generated PDF certificates. Most of the online training courses are completed with a online certificate generated with the user data and this custom certificate plugin can help you to generate a certificate whenever the student completes uh, the course activities and resources. This is one of the most popular Moodle plugins among uh, last few years and it is being It is one of the most downloaded and most popular Moodle plugin uh, in the Moodle plugin stack right now. This is different from the certificate plugin as it allows you to completely customize the certificate template as well as the data shown on the certificate through the web browser without logging into your FTP server or changing any other code. So let us see how you can start using this custom certificate plugin on your Moodle site. First of all, we need to download this plugin and install it on our Moodle site and I will be showing it through my local host XAMPP Moodle 4.1 environment. So I will just click on download this plugin here and you can see that it is having a compatible version of 4.0 and 4.1 right now. So I will just click on download and once it is downloaded then you can extract it to the mod directory since it is activity kind of plugin so once it is installed then I will go to my Moodle site here you can see that I am logged in as the admin role for this Moodle site so I just go to the notifications page under site admin to install this plugin so as you can see it has already noticed that uh, there is some new plugin under installation so it will show me how to upgrade the database the best feature of this custom certificate plugin is that it comes along with some other elements which are sub plugins for this custom certificate plugin you can uh, either add more plugins to add another components or other another elements to this custom certificate as sub plugins. So I will just click on upgrade Moodle database now. And as you can see that all the plugins are installed and let us click on continue. Here are some configuration settings for the admin role which are available for the custom certificate plugin. We will discuss all of them in detail uh, when we configure this custom certificate as the teacher. Uh, however, these all settings will not be available for the teacher role but I will just leave them as it is and I will not discuss them right now. So let us click on save changes. So now I will just go to any course where I want to add this custom certificate and I will show you how you how to add it in your Moodle course. So let us go to any course. Here I will go to this course. And in order to add any activity you need to enter the editing mode on. So let me click on this edit mode toggle switch on the top right bar here. So now the editing mode is turned on. Let me go to the last section because generally the certificate is made available once the student has completed all the activities in the course. So let me add the certificate here. So I click on this add an activity or resource link and choose the custom certificate here. On this page you need to give the certificate a name let me give it as course completion certificate 
I will not add any description but if you want you can add any description here and check this box if you want to display it on the host page. Under the options section you can see that uh, there are few configuration options. So let us discuss them one by one. For this delivery options field you have two options either to send the file in line to the browser or make it as a forced file download which means that if the first option is selected then the file will be displayed within the browser window if you choose the second option then it will be forcefully downloaded to the student's browser window so let me keep it as the first option send the file in line to the browser the second option is for the email students what it means is that whenever the certificate is made available in the course then Moodle will automatically send a copy of the certificate to the student's email address. If you want to enable this option then you can click on this yes or otherwise let me keep it as no. Similarly you can also email the teachers by choosing yes in this next option and you can add other email address like the site admin or the principal of the college to keep all the certificates with them. The next option is to allow anyone to verify a certificate. This is very handy in case you are a professional institute and you would like to give the future employer a authentic way to verify the certificate's integrity. So the user from outside Moodle can verify the certificate through entering a six digit code. If you want to enable that functionality, you can choose yes here. The next option is required minutes in a course. This means that a student has to spend a minimum specified time which is mentioned here. Let me say that uh, if I will mention 120 minutes then it will be around 2 hours. So the student has to spend 2 hours in this course before they will be allowed to get this certificate. If they finish the course less than this time then they will have to wait for 120 minutes to get this certificate. The next three options are for setting the protection for this certificate. The first one is to print, the second one is to modify and the third one is to copy. So once you are set with all these options then just go down and click on save and display. Now we are on the custom certificate page and as you can see that this has not yet been delivered to any student so the recipient is shown as zero and there is nothing to display here. Now what we will do is we will go to this edit certificate page and create our own certificate template. So let me click on this one. So here you can add the certificate components as well as uh, define the width and the height and the margin for this certificate. So the name is coming from the previous page, the course completion certificate. If you want, you can modify this also. Then you can define the width of the certificate as well as the height, as well as the margins on the left and right side on these top four fields. After this, you can see that there is a button named add element along with a drop down. Here you will see a lot of items which can be added to create dynamic content on the certificate page. The options include that we can add a background image, we can also add a border, we can also add the course category name, then you have the option to add the code, the course field, the course name, the date, the date range, digital signature, grade, grade item name, image, QR code, student name, teacher name, text, user field and user picture. So these are too good to create any kind of certificate in the model. So let us first add any background image for this. So here you can drop down the image in this field to use as the background image. I will not add any image right now because I don't have any template file ready for me. So I will just click on cancel but this way you can add the background image for your certificate. Similarly you can add let us say the student name first. 
so here you can customize the look and feel of this field whenever it is coming on the certificate so let me keep it as size is around 50 and the font i will keep it as times Roman. the color i will choose as let me say as blue and that is it so i will just click on save changes similarly you can also add the course name as it is but you can also define the width the reference point location as well as the alignment for all these elements so let me click on save changes and as of now these two elements will appear on top of each other because i have not changed the uh, image elements uh, position so there is a there is an option to reposition the elements without uh, changing the x and y coordinates directly so let me click on this one and show you how you can reposition the elements so as you can see that there are two things coming on top of each other here so what i can do is i can just keep it like this so this is the course name and this is the student name so once you have the background image ready on this page then you can just drag it in the course name field and drag this thing to the student name field and click on save and close so this way you can reposition the elements now you can click on save changes as well as save changes and preview to display the certificate file so let me click on this one and as you can see that the one certificate is ready and it is shown in line in the browser window since I have cho chosen that option so let me go back to the browser window and this is how you can add more elements to the certificate and reposition them to create your own certificate template on the bottom part of this page you can see that uh, there is a option to manage the templates this is mainly related to the site admin role where the admin can create uh, templates which will be used by all the teachers throughout the Moodle site. This may help in saving a lot of time for the teachers as you will already get uh, some background image as well as some other things already set. So you need to just fine tune that according to your course and then you can use that to create the certificate. One more thing is there that you can add another page to your certificate by clicking on this add page button. So you can display some items on the first page as well as you can display the other items on the second page. So this is how you can add your certificate. So once you are done, you can go to the custom certificate as and see how it will look like on, by clicking on this view certificate button. So it will again look like this. Now I will show you how a person can verify this certificate uh, in the settings we have not opted for this option but if a person is logged into Moodle with, a, with appropriate permissions then he can verify this certificate so let me click on this one here uh, you will need to enter the 6 digit code which is printed on the certificate and click on verify so this is how a person can verify this certificate now for the students who are enrolled in lot of courses they will be getting the certificates after completing all the courses and it will be quite challenging for them to go to each and every course and download and manage their own certificate so for this one they can easily go to the my profile page and click on my certificates tab here under miscellaneous section to but all the certificates they have got in all the courses they can also download this table data as different file formats so as you can see that they can also download it in the csv the excel html table json file open document file and the pdf file so what it will do is it will export the list of all the certificates issued to any student so this is how you can use the custom certificate plugin on your Moodle site to create dynamically generated PDF certificates.
If you have any other questions related to the custom certificate plugin, please feel free to drop me a comment in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon to get all the latest updates instantly. Thank you very much for watching.